All right, guys, we're picking up with the last week of Act 2. I think this is Act 2, Week 3 now. Time to see what this grand plan is going to be for trying to get back to the Infinite Forest to retrieve that old Saint-14. I am curious to see if we'll actually go to the Infinite Forest or it's going to be like a closed-off room somewhere. <laughs> it's just going to be like, we're going to teleport you straight to his dead body, and we're not going to actually have you enter the Infinite Forest. I still don't really understand the plan from last week, and again, I'm hoping we get something from the Conductor that kind of lets us know what's going on. Give me some reason to fear them, for whatever reason, or to, like, know their motive. I mean, or just to, like, understand more of their motives. Alright. We're here to talk to you. Hello again, Captain. We have an interesting metaphysical task ahead of us today. You're not wrong. As I understand it, Years ago, Osiris rescued the Saint unit we are familiar with from a Vex simulation. In doing so, he created a paradox. The Saint unit is alive with us now, but simultaneously dead within the Vex network. Yes. The database of that deceased Saint unit are filled with information. Information I believe I can use to locate the conductor. The thing is, Saint unit will have to download the memories of its other self experience years of suffering his own death oh uh, we're giving him the old crow older treatment off. and he hasn't really been in a good place lately you know but the conductor must be confronted i'm sure saint unit will understand why do we won't he i'm assuming so but why does he need to down i thought the whole point of going in there was to retrieve the Saint 14's memories, but then we're gonna like extrapolate it afterwards. We have to give it to our actual Saint 14 and have him reassimilate all that information. So we're just gonna make him, we're just gonna do it to Crow. We're gonna do to Saint what we did to Crow when Savathun gave him all of Aldrin's memories all at once. Uh, she's only too happy to explain years ago, blah, 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 blah. The data banks of the dead Saint 14 hold the data, safe, fail safe needs located the conductor to locate the conductor's coordinates, but the only way to access the data is for Saint Foreseen to interface with it himself. Okay, so we physically need to go down there. Uh... Alright, something else is active now. I already had, like, those red border focusing is so stupid that they held onto it for so long. I already have those weapons focused. Um, okay, so is it going to be explore the sunken cavern unnecessary and defeat the Vex who hold the code for fail safe requires? Okay, so we're going to go do, is it a lost sector? We need to access Vex codes in order to actually get into back into the Vex network via the infinite forest. Gotcha. Finally changed my look to, I got, I was getting a little tired with the night armor monster hunter look and i wanted to experience some other stuff so here we are boys we've changed our look once again uh i really like this look and it looks really clean when you have the original helmet with it too there's something about it that i just i like how the cape flows on one end and then like the sash is on his left flows on the other end so yeah we updated the look Ooh. oh it's a ball Haha, uh -huh, you thought I was going to slit the ground. I'm still not entire. I mean, Saint, why would Saint be... He's going to experience centuries worth of depression, anxiety, despair, being stuck in the infinite force, plus his own death. I mean, Saint-14 has died plenty of times. Why would experiencing his death be super traumatic? Maybe, he, maybe he'll be more upset at the fact that this Saint-14 that uh, used to be alive, that he had a better life or had a more loving relationship than he currently does with Osiris. And that'll frustrate him, being like, why the hell were you in such... Why the hell did you open up to this other Saint-14 way quicker than me? Maybe that'll be the thing that pisses him off, for real. Or he'll be frustrated that... Osiris was more open and more honest and more loving with the old Saint-14 than with this Saint-14. And that might push him over the edge. Um, that's what I'm willing to bet, at least. But then, then again, it could be something else. Maybe 
this is part of the conductor's plan. Maybe she's tainted that St. 14's databanks. And we're going all this way to retrieve this St. 14's memories. His memories are corrupted, and it's going to turn our St. 14 against us. Simulation access code. A message awaits for you in the helm. Incomplete. Oh. Just immediately go back to the helm. I wish there wasn't so many loading screens. I wish there was just a teleporter that just took us straight back here, back to the helm or something. That's weird. It just says a message awaits for you in the helm. It doesn't even say who it's from, who wants us to check in. It just says message awaits. I wonder... I wonder if the conductor knows what the Guardian and the rest of the Vanguard are trying to do for Saint-14. I hope not, but we'll see. Come on, what's the bad news? Who's here waiting for us? Oh, okay, is he going to refuse to do it? Approach. Guardian, Osiris. Ikora and I have made a plan. We can use what we know about the Veil and the Vexnet. Okay. The Veil? Why would you need... We will go to my tomb in the timeline where I died fighting the Vex. My true death. When you were taken from me. Okay. Yes. I can use the memories of that Saint-14, my memories. I remember when the Vex killed my crew. Those memories will haunt me forever. You're not helping. They'll say. <laughs> you're not, you're really I not mean, helping. It's not so bad, except for the horrors. Yeah, everything I learned, everything I did. I fought the Vex for many, many years. I remember. Ikora thinks we can use the data to find this conductor and secure the Echo. No. I, I won't. We can find another way. Failsafe. It must be done. So I will do it. Ikora told me I was once the Vex's greatest opponent. She said I should remind them. Yeah, that's a line from the trailer. Saint, Saint, or er, Osiris has taken way better, bigger I need risks. To think. Th this can't be the only path left to us. The Saint unit has already made up his mind. He needs you right now. You know he can't do it without you, right? Yeah, I mean, if you, if there was another viable solution at this point, we would have. Uh, we would have had it by now, but there's nothing. So, like, I mean, Osiris is taking bigger risks without, with and without his light. And Saint-14 just had to roll with it. And this is one of those scenarios where, yep, this is another thing where you just got to roll with it, baby. Let me let me do this because we don't have a choice. Mission Shell. Access the next the Vex network to find a simulated version of the dark future on Nessus. And break through the final layer of the planet's, of the planet's shell. So we're going back to that weird dark future that was simulated in Curse of Osiris. And we can access it from here. I'm surprised that this isn't taking place on Neptune, where there's that giant Vex gate. <sighs> Can't be on Io, because we don't have access to Io anymore, weirdly Save enough. Join us shortly. We seek access to his tomb. We are grave robbing. <laughs> that is one way of putting it. Sure. The interim state unit is still Vexnet. Their memory core is a back channel into the network. Saint must understand there are no lesser versions. 
Only expressive tessellations of what could be. And facing his death again is the cost of that revelation. Well, so be it. Cyrus is letting is saying that the that saint needs to get needs to understand that he is not a lesser version of himself. He is just a different version. Hopefully, him experiencing this his death all over again in the Vex network will remind him. reshapes itself around this Vex fluid. Soon we will hardly recognize it. We're going even deeper. Oh, okay, even deeper. Will it actually hit the bottom? The infinite forest was on Mercury. How do we reach it from here? Right? The access here is somewhat like an archive imprinted into the magnetic field of Nessus. The Vex used Nessus for defunct digital storage. They kept trying to plug me into it. Oh, wow, and we're actually hitting wow, the bottom of this. Is exposing me to their connection protocols going to backfire. They should have predicted that. What did you mean about the data here being... Defunct. The Guardian pulled you from a point before your death to a point after it. To the Vex, that temporal event is a defunct anomaly now, non existent within this timeline. So it is kept here, stored in Nessus's memory. The details that separate him and I, if they fade away, will I be his shadow? Or. Will he be mine? I can't answer that for you. You're you. Were you less you before today? I tore open time for you. I suppose. I mean, it's the same thing that happened with Crow in Aldrin. Why would this be that much they different from that scenario? To our to reach the tomb. Yes, they're doing that now. I wonder what kind of champion they'll send because they, they they just think we're accessing his tomb for some reason. I wonder if they'll send a champion to come fight us. Oh, wow! Those wyverns are like ancient Vex wyverns. Interesting. Uh oh, that didn't do anything. I've never seen wyverns like that before. Now to learn of the man I was and will be. Osiris, ah. why did they keep my body? Respect. They honor you with a perfect preservation. There's no replacing you, Saint. Even the Vex recognize that. The Interesting. Vex are very meticulous. But also weirdly sentimental. Interesting. The, the Vex. This I do recognize. This is one of the infinite forest tunnels. It looks very different. Like it's being digitized. There's just a mound of Vex corpses outside of his tomb. Tomb of Saint Fourteen. Man, it's been so long since we've been here. I wonder if this Saint Fourteen model looks different than the current one we have. Uh, not really. Actually, this model looks just like him. This one's a little smaller, I think, but that might be it. Interact. Ooh! Well, oh, we saw something we shouldn't have seen. <laughs> there. Wait. When I search for you in the infinite forest. I saw this again and again. You entombed. 
taken away from me, perhaps forever. When finally I found you, I thought I would never have to see it again. I am here, Osiris. You told me that I am real. So is he. <sighs> Do it. Remember the Vex. <laughs> but also how much I loved you in that timeline, too. Don't forget how much I love you and how much how much I did for you. Like don't this isn't this isn't a different you. This is still just you. Saints. I see it. I tear through the bags. They cannot stand against me. They hesitate. They are afraid of me. Oh. Then Geppetto is hurt. I try to protect her, but I am too Ah, uh, they got a lucky shot in on his ghost. I pull a minotaur apart with my bare hands. Soon, I fall. The Vex approach. They are lifting me up. I lose my senses. I cannot feel my body. My Stop. vision blinks in and out. But Stop. Please. I, I am on this slab, but I have one final feeling. A memory of us, together. I am bringing you tea. I watch you take a sip. It is too hard. But you smile. That is my last thought. My phoenix. They did something to him first, though. They t he said they took him somewhere, and they put him on a slab. And then he started like, losing gone. consciousness. But, no. Here I am. With both of you, I am Saint Fortune. The conductor cannot hide from me anymore. Fail Saint. I have the coordinate, Saint Unit. Good luck. Okay. That was really poignant. I mean, Osiris didn't want to hear about him dying. I think I remember in the Curse of Osiris. Saint Unit, Captain. Ooh. I have achieved coordinate lock. I'm rerouting the conductor's radiolaria flow to this location. Oh, we're literally just going to turn around and go back the way we came. Because I do remember they talked about uh, during the, what was it, like the season of the dawn, where uh, they made like this weird, like, Vex Hydra boss. I think they called it like the Martyr Mine. And it was some sort of like light suppression Vex. And it was able to like wound and then eventually kill Saint's ghost Geppetto. And... That's how they eventually took him down. They had to, like, separate him from his ghost and destroyed his ghost, and then he was just, like, a no, a lightless guardian at that point, and then they eventually took him down. And we did stop it, and then at that point, I think they told us that, like, oh, yeah, the, the martyr mind is so complex and so advanced. The Vex only had an opportunity to make literally one before, <laughs> before we destroyed it, and they couldn't make another one ever again. So, he looks like he integrated fine. It's just like the C Crow and Aldrin thing where he remembers everything. I Again, I was wor weirdly worried that he was going to remember stuff about, like, his relationship with the old Saint-14 was better than 
he is currently his current relationship is now with Osiris. So at least that's not it. He just remembers fighting. He remembers getting wounded. He remembers them taking him somewhere and putting him. He sat on a slab of some sort. And while they were working on him, his last thoughts were of them just having a moment together. And that's really nice. But again, it makes me wonder what did they do to him first before uh, they entombed him here with all of his trophies, more or less, like all these dead Vex. All right, so we're going back the way we came, and this is going to be a portal leading straight to the, so, hey, while the conductor. Directing the conductor to you, they were real in there. I pulled some other Vex along, and you're surrounded. Uh, maybe we can reason with them? Yeah. Guardian, reason them with the big gun. I will protect Osiris until the way is clear. Captain, I am patching in Ag Agio Agiotis archived mine. Ow. Uh, I gotta ascend. I don't know if I'm gonna actually live through this. Wow. I am getting slapped so badly, actually. I don't have anywhere to go. There's no cover. And this thing is just beaming me down. I had to super in order just to like get damage resistance and quickly deal some. Oh, quickly, 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 quickly! Yeah, bring me cover, dude. <laughs> like there, I'm just out in the open with no cover at all. I'm like, where is my cover? Oh, I lost my ascension too. Dang it. There we go. Okay, so there was cover this whole time. Uh, I can't really... Oh, his head is his weak spot. Good. the heck am I supposed to go? There's so there's not a lot of cover here for us. Wow, I am getting lit up so badly. I'm trying to think of where's a good place for cover. There's not really I mean, she's spawning yeah, cover for me great, but at the cover. very end we lost cover. And I'm just getting beamed down by these guys. These guys are slapping me left and right. I got to be more strategic with what I'm doing. I almost have ascension again though. Too far. God, I'm taking so much damage. Oh! 
Oh my god, I was just getting killed! Man, this is weirdly difficult because I'm just taking so much damage from this thing. And I'm like, I don't want to be taking this much damage. It's crazy! Uh, whatever, I think we might just switch to Kabas off now because at least this is good for ad clear. And I'm like, man, I am getting lit up so badly! I didn't... This is a weirdly difficult fight just from, like... This arena, we can't go very far away. And I am stuck. Ugh, why was that so weirdly difficult? What the hell? Right? Good. Finally get to see what this thing is. Ah, just, wow. Nessus groans under the yoke of its new cultivator. Let us see if they can produce answers or only questions. Probably more questions, honestly, because there's still one more act left to resolve this episode. Is it questions or are we getting more answers? This looks like a garden. This looks like Nessus before. Or this looks like. Uh, yeah, this looks like Mer. Like, not Mercury. No, this does look like Mercury before Mercury was transformed. Because it's all jungle foliage. Uh, I didn't even get a chance to see anything. It just ended the mission. Do we... I think we get a cutscene. Maybe we'll see my guardian just walking up there. There we go. Transforming Vex, that's weird. Locks me. Really? Is a facsimile its archetype? No. I am Maya Sandrush. But okay. we have already met. Sandrush. So this is what happened to you after your Mona. After your experiments with the veil. I know what you can do with the Echo of Gumal. I will not allow you to raise an army of Vex. I'm doing what I've been called to do. The Vex called to you. Humanity called to me. 
the collapse, the Black Fleet is finished. Now we can look back to what we've lost. Lady Olaria is the means to this end. It represents the smallest unit of consciousness. A trillion formless minds, notes in a symphony of thought. Each one begging for direction, for a conductor. <gasps> Nurses will be converted. The radiolaria I command will be spread throughout the system. I will deliver us a golden age. And if you stand in the way of progress, I will break you down into more compliant elements. We are not your vex. You will be. Get us out of here, now! Uh-huh. So Lakshmi of the future war, war cult must have been based off of Maya Sundaresh. That's why their face structures are similar. And why we initially confused her like, are you just like, Lakshmi, what the hell? Aren't you super dead? <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 no. Like, I'm, I may look like her, but I'm definitely not her. And he's like, Maya. And then that's when Osiris was like, oh, it's Maya. One of the Neo Moonins who experimented with Vex technology got sucked into the Vex network and then they say she says that the echo of command she got it but then the vex were calling to her for like for they wanted a new leader and they reached out to her for it interesting and she says that she's going to deliver us a new golden age with the vex and with the radiolaria on nessus and to not stand in the way of progress um it doesn't it's not a bad plot as far as like her motive, but like, I don't, I don't necessarily know what she's talking about because, are you planning on converting humanity to Vex, so they're more pliable or so they're easy, more easily to control? Maya Sandrash, risen from the Vex network, she has Lakshmi's face. Osiris tells me it must be a mask she feels comfortable wearing. Okay, there you go. Well. It did not comfort me, and today was already filled with ghosts of the past. Guardian, before I claimed the memories of the other me, I was afraid. I was already filled with doubt, and I thought I might lose myself. But as his thoughts merged with mine, <laughs> it was as though I'd lived through his centuries of struggle. And my feelings, our feelings, were in perfect harmony. And suddenly, all questions the conductor put in my mind were answered. It does not matter if I am the real saint or the true saint. Every me is me. So, when Maya tried to command me again, I used my truth to push her away. But she still forced me to my knees. She is growing stronger. We must return to stop her. But she has blocked our access. Failsafe is working on a way through. And when she finds it, I will be ready. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Saint-14 is in the hangar, tall and proud, his voice strong. Maya Sundaresh risen from the Vex network, he says. Saint recognized Lakshmi 2's face, though Osiris explained to him that it's just a mask Maya feels comfortable wearing. Saint shivers at the thought. He tells you that he thought his personality might be lost completely when he accessed the mind of his other self. But as his thoughts merged with mine, it was as though I lived through centuries of struggle, and suddenly all, ans all questions a conductor put in my hand, my mind were answered. It does not matter if I am the real saint or the true saint. Every me is me. Fully self-realized, when Maya attempted to command saint again, he was able to resist, but still she forced me to my knees. She is growing stronger. Is Failsafe is working on working to reestablish access to the Maya's stronghold at the core of Nessus. 
and when she finds it, I will be ready. Ooh, he gave us the perfect paradox. Dual loader, trench barrel, appended mag, small bore. I wonder if this is, like, the, the copy that he is currently using. I really did like Perfect Paradox. They're, it's such a cool-looking gun. I wonder what kind of rolls we can get for this thing. I'll have to look it up. Rising Chorus, Act 2. The episode, Act 2 completed. Fell safe will contact you when Act 3 begins. Nice. So, I mean, you we... will face many foes. You will beat them. We did get a face finally, and Maya Cinder. I mean, it's like it was like a, a awful. <laughs> it was like a dumb, well kept secret. Like, oh, it's probably gonna be Maya. It 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 was Maya the whole time. I don't. Again, I'm not really familiar with the uh, with the veil and containment protocol stuff on Nessus. Like, I'm not really familiar with that lore. Um, so it kind of goes over my head. I kind of just. I don't know anything about them to like be like, oh my god, Maya Cinderella. I'm just like, sure, whatever. But it's she sounds like she's just trying to use the Vex materials. She says she wants to usher in humanity into a new golden age. And that she'll do that on Nessus when she converts it. And to not stand in our way of progress. Because if we do, she says that she'll break us down into more compliant components. Um... But again, I don't necessarily know why she's a villain. It doesn't seem like a bad idea, although she's converting everyone into Vex more or less. Then, yeah, I don't want to be... I'm already a robot. I don't want to be converted into that kind of robot because that robot is like a lifeless automaton with like no soul or nothing. It's just it's just a machine. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to be turned into that, please. No, thank you. So it'll be interesting to see how we try to stop her. And she's wielding the Echo of Command, and she... I wonder what... So if that mask, that face she's wearing is just a face that she feels comfortable wearing, I wonder what she really looks like underneath that mask. Because when she was talking, the mouthpiece and the mouth guard kind of shifted in a weird way. I was like, wow, her face doesn't really move like an Echo's face. I mean, every Echo's skull structure is slightly different, but hers looked like a puppet. Like, it was not fully attached to her body. And that was kind of disconcerting. I do like her her whole motif with that whole uh, the whole structure of her body. She looks like a human Vex, and I wonder if that's what she's planning on turning everybody into. Um, I'm not sure why they got why they why they would pick Lakshmi's face. It's interesting. I wonder if Lakshmi too was an echo replication of Maya Sundaresh. I wonder if that's obviously something in the lore, and that's why she has the two in her name. Because she's, she's the second copy of Maya. Okay, let's start the weekly term. Research on the Omuna's Veil facility is complete. As the report is uh, lengthy, I will summarize. Yep, give me the cliff Maya notes. Maya Sandrish and Chioma Essi were a married pair of researchers in the Golden Age. Their work often touched on the Vex. They found an object on Neptune that whispered to Maya in her own voice. That artifact, the veil, is of the darkness, as the traveler is of the light. Maya grew obsessed with it, and Chioma grew afraid. In her compulsion to study the veil, Maya took no heed of any risks or of Chioma's doubts. Humans under her command died. Exomines were wiped. Okay. Maya wanted a chorus that could channel the power of the veil. And to control that chorus, she built an imprint of herself named Lakshmi. There we go. Soon afterwards, Maya entered the Vex network. She left no trace. Chioma exiled Lakshmi, shut down all veil research, and redacted it from Neomuna's history. In a final act, Chioma entered the network herself. Other Mayas and Chiomas were already inside, simulated hundreds of times by the Vex. It's possible that the Echo brought many Mayas together into the Conductor. Or perhaps only the first. There is no way to know which, if any, directed the Conductor's actions. But it would be folly to underestimate any Maya Sandresh. All right, then. There, there's our explanation. They did a lot of experimentation on Neomuna with the veil. 
trying to discover its secrets. Lots of human lives were lost and a lot of exo mines were wiped because of it. And again, she grew so obsessive over the veil and the Vex network that she entered the Vex network herself, but she left herself a copy of herself on the outside that she named Lakshmi. And then her wife, Chioma, wiped Lakshmi, or like exiled Lakshmi. She didn't want any part of that. And then she entered the, the Vex network herself, probably to look for Maya or something. And again, the Vex network has probably replicated and simulated hundreds of different Chiomas and Mayas over, you know, the countless however long it's been. And Osiris is touching on a point like, I'm not sure if the Echo of Command coalesced all the Mayas together to make one Super Maya, who is now known as the Conductor, or if it just picked one at random. They're also he's not touching on the on the fact that it also could just be the original Maya Sundaresh. That the Echo of Command called out to the original one who's been stuck in there for who knows how long. And since she's been in there for so long on her own, maybe her wife never found her, and she's just gone mad with, with time. Because you can get a little crazy being left alone like that. And now that she's been given the Echo of Command, the Echo of Command speaks to her. The Vex want her to want her to lead them. She finally has purpose, and now she's like, I, she was trying to usher in a golden age back then, and she's going to do it again now, and now she has the means to do so. And maybe that's what this is all about now. Um, okay, I, there we go. Osiris gave us the Cliff, no the Cliff Notes version, and he shortened it down very considerably, so now I don't even have to do the veil containment now. <laughs> all right, we know, we, know the, what we, we know the bad guy. We have a face. We have a, a motive that is compelling. And we have a means of trying to stop her. Failsafe is working on that, on a way for us to get back to her. I would like to see her, since she's the conductor and since she is manipulating the Vex and turning them into stuff, in order to really think of her as a kind of a cool enemy type to fight, I would like her to introduce new Vex enemies as prototypes for her Golden Age, right? Not like precursor or and or like not like f past, current, and future Vex like frames like we got with those wyverns. I want like completely new enemies that fight completely different. Maybe something that's really mobile, something that's really fast, and something that like you kind of have to like pay attention to on the battlefield because again, she's trying to make like human exo Vex hybrid things or whatever, right? Like that would be kind of cool to have enemies like that to fight. Um, we'll see though. I don't know if Bungie will go that far with this <laughs> or what the next the next act will be the last act and that'll wrap up this episode and then that'll lead us into I believe um, I think the next one is Revenant afterwards. Um, I'm not sure how much of a break we're gonna get between this this ep this section and the next section. Um, it might be another lengthy pause boys before I come back to Destiny. I might try to do some more Destiny content. Um, we're still working on Gears of War. I think I'm going to start working on Gears of War 5 real soon. Um, I know I mentioned before that I wanted to do Master Duel as well, just to do some videos in Master Duel. I tried building my deck in Master Duel recently, and I discovered that most of the cards that I have in my deck aren't even in Master Duel yet. It's a lot of the new archetypal cards that came out in the most recent sets, and those cards aren't even in Master Duel. So I'm like, uh, that's lame. I might still just do an episode of, like, a Yu-Gi-Oh! episode just to show off my cards that I actually have in my deck. And, you know, maybe we can go over those together. And, you know, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! as much as the next person, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, the raid video. Oh, God. I'm so, I, I haven't had time to do the raid, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of, like, not even really interested. The loot is kind of ugly, in my opinion. That might be a hot take right now. The loot might be is a little ugly to my eyes. Um, I don't like the asymmetrical stuff in Destiny. I never did. And the darkness and light set. The concept art they showed for that light and darkness set looked fucking baller. And then when they actually put out the set for real, I'm like, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? This looks, this looks awful, in my opinion. I mean, that's a hot take, depending on who you ask. The weapons look kind of cool in a weird sort of Lovecraftian way. Um, with a bunch of eyeballs stuck all over it, I guess. Sure. Um, I'll try to get to it. I guess there's a lot of free time from Destiny now, so maybe I won't have much of an excuse anymore. Um... There are some other games that I'm looking forward to. Space Marines, I already got all that thumbnail and all that recording stuff set up for them. So when Space Marines comes out, we'll be sure to just jump into it immediately. I'm really interested, and they keep showing off more 
and more trailer footage and like gameplay stuff. And I'm like, hey baby, come on man, I'm already on board. You don't need to keep drilling for more oil. I'm, we already struck gold here. Like I'm, I'm fully on board with you guys already. But if you want to keep showing more stuff, I'm like, yeah, sure. But it's just kind of making me worry now because I don't want you to show too much. I would like some surprises of what's going to happen in that game here and there. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. You know the drill. Be sure to subscribe. Because we'll be doing more Destiny when there's more Destiny to be done. Um, we'll do... There's plenty of other games that we're doing right now, too. Be sure to go check those out if you're interested in any of the Gears of War games at all. Um, and yeah, we'll catch you guys all in the next one. Take care. I'll see you guys soon, I hope. <laughs>